Michael. What? This feels a lot like the other night. What other night? The other night where it was dark out and we were going down the road and we were going to an abandoned power plant. Yeah, except it turns out. No, no, no. It turns out. The situation was we couldn't explore. But this feels a lot like that night. Yeah. Hopefully it ends differently. It's also super chilly out for summer. In American units, it's like 40 something degrees. <laughs> Why is it so cold all of a sudden? Yesterday I was sweating. In the rest of the developed world units, it's like 13, I yeah. think. This mission felt sketchy to us from the very beginning, but we knew many other explorers had successfully pulled off this location and reported not encountering any security measures. Therefore, we were determined to check it out ourselves. We just start trying doors. Mm -hmm. uh, is that in? This might just be a transformer. Everything here is infested with spider webs. It's crazy. We're gonna have to go the ladder and the way. All right. There is zero percent chance of this working, but we're gonna try it. Okay. All right, so we didn't get into another power plant. Every single door we tried was locked and we climbed up multiple ladders and there was no way in. That's just how it goes sometimes. It's just you need good luck and we're not having it. It's more than just luck, really. It's pretty normal to expect to not get into. I know. About 50% of the places you have But planned. it's been more than 50. It's got dark in here. At this it's point. been more than 50, yeah. We're probably at like a 30% success rate so far this trip. Yeah, so... But the successes have been big successes, at least. So, we are back at the power plant that we attempted last night. Right now we're just chilling in the car. This is a little too light out to go in just yet, even though it's 9 o'clock right now. Yeah, right? It's, it's, it's 21 o'clock, whatever that is. It's I think 9. That's but hopefully... We can get in tonight. We have some new intel about how to get in, but supposedly this way is quite difficult and not for the faint of heart. But it's probably worth it. It's probably worth it. Now, we're not gonna show this way on camera, but- Super secret. It's a super secret way. All right, on our way to the power plant again. Something got this rabbit. Yeah, the door is open to the cooling tower. I can see it. This is unreal. <laughs> I 
Now let's go towards the middle, maybe. You can hear some bug clicking. Jeez, you just have to look up and it's insane. I don't know how loud this is outside. Probably not that loud. Sound is just echoing in here. Yeah. It's also open on the bottom though. If I kick my foot against the wall here, it sounds pretty crazy. Let's get into the main building now. Well, this is scary being in here alone. The plan was for me to find a door at ground level that I could open to let Brian in, but then I started to hear things and something felt wrong rather quickly. I realized the security guy didn't even see me, but not knowing where any of the other exits were, I decided to take my chances with him. I turned the camera off because I figured he would be more of a hard ass if he knew he was being recorded. It didn't matter, he was a hard ass anyway, and so I had to make a run for it. He's coming, run! Call the cops. We're gonna hide out for a while in case he comes right down here. Do you wanna be on this side of the fence though? Okay. I don't know if the GoPro is rolling for this, but he's, he was trying to talk to me, so I use Google Translate. And I say, in Google Translate, is it okay if I just leave? You'll never see me again. Show him that. Translates to French. He starts shaking his head. No, no, no. He tries to put me in his cop car. I mean, his security car. Let's not go this way. Let's go this way. He tries to put me in the car. And I'm like, okay, bye-bye. I should wave goodbye. And I fucking start bolting. I was really calling you repeatedly. Over I kept getting aerotone. I kept getting aerotone, too. Probably calling each other. I was like, there's someone... Chill under here for a while. I want to be in the thick. I'm an inch from grabbing the door handle. It swings open and he's right in front of me. He opened the door. He opened the door. 
before. No, I'm it's telling you. That blinking light might have been a motion sensor. Maybe. But he was here instantly. Instant fucking light. He was here the whole time. I don't know. Could have been really bad timing. I was talking to myself. Because of the GoPro. And I heard the clunk. And I thought it was like you try and climb it or something. That's the, the facility's alarms. Which facility? That's not a cop alarm. Cops are. It could be the security truck's alarm. Want to go deeper? Yes. Do you want to try walking this under here? We're going to have to hide for a while. But for a while it's not going to make a walk. When we see, start seeing flashlights in here, that's when we get really worried. So they really care that much. My tornado is just taking a photo. He freaked. He was not cool. He kept like pointing in his car, opening the car door, and like trying to push me into the car. So you have to like evade him? So I was just like, I was like, it's okay, I go now, okay? Bye bye. And I run. <laughs> that's literally what I did. Okay, go deeper. After waiting for nearly an hour, the coast was clear and we safely made our escape. 